Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in part seven of our eight-part series, Basic Training with CyberLink Power Director. Now here in our timeline, we have assembled something of a movie, and it's time to add titles to that movie. There are a number of great title templates available in CyberLink Power Director. You'll find them by going to the title room, and that is by going along the left-hand side of the program here and clicking on that little T. You see they're in a variety of categories, some very nice title templates here. They're all editable and customizable. A number of these are what you call main titles, in other words titles you'd put at the beginning of your movie. Some of these are what you call lower thirds. Lower thirds are titles in which words appear in the lower third of a screen. Those would be to identify whoever's speaking or to identify a location without totally obscuring the video. And then others are closing titles, and these are quite often titles that scroll up the screen. So let's go to the travel category here, vacation and travel, and we'll select a title template. As you can see, a great many of them are animated, and you can preview the animation simply by selecting the title. So I'm going to use this title here, the one where a bicycle appears across the screen and the text comes in through animation. We'll drag it down to our timeline. I'm going to put it on video track two. Now the title does have a background to it, so it's going to obscure the video that's on video track one, but that's okay for now. To edit the title or to launch the title designer workspace, you simply double click on the title on the timeline. And here in the title designer, we can do a tremendous amount of customization. We can naturally change the text simply by selecting a text block, dragging over the text and typing in our custom text, which we can of course reposition. Sometimes there's a subtitle or a lower title underneath the title. You can keep that or you can actually select it and delete it if you want. Now, the title, as you saw, the text itself does have an animation uh, which introduces the title. So you can see the letters sort of dropping in there as I scrub through here and then arranging themselves into the title. Pretty cool. That animation is represented by this little gray area here on the timeline. So there's animation at the beginning introducing the title, and then at the end there's animation removing the title from the screen. So animation the whole way through. You can customize that animation if you simply select the text block and go over here to the Effect tab. And on the Effect tab, you can select a new starting effect. That's the effect that introduces the title or a new ending effect. There are also a lot of cool special effects worth exploring there too, including the ability to make your text look like it's written by lightning or it's on fire or flickers like a, a neon sign. Pretty cool. Anyway, let's go back under the object tab. When our text is selected, of course, we have the option of changing its font. You can see we can also add shadows and borders and backdrops. And if this text is in a 3D project, we can actually control how much the text seems to float over the video behind it. So we can control its 3D level. And we can do that as we select individual objects here. There's also a motion tab where we can select some pre-drawn motions. So you can do a lot of customization as you create and modify these titles. Now if I go down to the timeline, you'll see that I have a particle effect. That's what that little sprayer means. And I can select that particle effect and delete it if I want. That's the bicycle. Did you see that? I'm going to control Z to put that back in. That particle effect is actually the motion of the bicycle through my scene. So I can remove that if I'd like. And quite often in these title templates, I can actually remove the entire background. So Right now I have nothing selected on the timeline and you notice up at the top here I have options for adding another particle animation, for adding an image, adding more images to my title, adding more text blocks, and of course uh, replacing or removing the title completely. So if I select delete background, there goes the background and now my title is actually appearing over the video that's on video track one. It's pretty cool how much modification and customization you can do. So you can use the templates as is, or you can essentially create your own. Now, coming up in part eight, our final chapter here in our eight part basic training tutorial series, we're gonna look at how to output your movie. And there are a number of really cool options for that in part eight of our eight part basic training with CyberLink PowerDirector. See you there.